Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about chargers and um, the best ones for the price. Um, the one I'm going to be talking about today is my Team Tenergy uh, TV6 AC charger. Now um, you might say this, this looks really similar to a lot of the chargers you might have seen out there and that's because generally for a lot of the lower end quality products of RC and stuff, there's an OEM that a lot of companies share and they put their stickers on it and say theirs. So this charger. Um, I picked up at my local hobby shop for $60 all the batteries you'll ever really use for RC. A charger that you guys would be able to find online if you wanted to pick up a charger really similar to this is going to be the Thunder Power AC680 and that you can find on hobby parts for $55 um, and I'm pretty sure that includes shipping. Go into the programming of it and teach you guys how to program it. Alright guys, programming these chargers is actually really, really simple. You use the stop button and the left arrow to scroll through the menus, and basically we're just going to go over to the program. You hit the green button or start or enter to go into the menu. Now just going through the main menus um, here, you can use these two arrows to navigate through the programming menu. All these, um, these settings you really don't need to worry about, the way they're set coming out of the box is perfectly fine. The ones you do want to adjust though is the capacity cutoff. Every time you go to charge a different capacity battery, you're going to adjust that to that size of battery. Say you have a 3000 milliamp hour battery, it's set on 5000 right now, I need to bring it down to 3000. So now the capacity is set and you want to make sure that's on. Next we have key beep and buzzer. Keep the buzzer on because it always it tells you uh, when there's a connection break in your battery. If there's a short, it tells you when the battery is done charging. The key beeps, you can turn them on or off, but it just, see, it's, it's a little annoying. The uh, low input power uh, cutoff, you definitely want to set that about 10 volts because your AC adapter over here should never drop below 10 volts, nor should a car battery if you ever hook it up that way. And then you're back to the main part and we're pretty much done programming. Alright guys, when you want to go to charge your battery, most of the chargers like these are going to come with a sort of squid cable that has all the sorts of different uh, charging adapters you're going to need. All you got to do is plug it into the right side, positive or red goes into the positive or red and same thing for the black. I'm going to hook up your battery depending on uh, what type of connector you use. I don't have a battery out right now so we'll just pretend we're going to hook up a LiPo to the Traxxas connector. Now what we're going to do is scroll through the menu until we find a LiPo battery program select. We're going to enter that and it's going to ask us how many amps we want to charge at and the cell count and the battery. To find how many amps you need to charge at basically you take the capacity of the battery and uh, if you know a little bit of simple uh, math conversions, um, 5,000 milliamp hours is equal to 5 amps. So you, that would be considered a 1C charge rate is when you just charge at the capacity of the battery. The LiPo batteries can charge at a higher C charge rate. So for example, some can charge up to a 3C charge rate. Again, do the math conversions. Uh, 1C charge rate is 5 amps, so triple that, you're going to be able to charge at 15 amps. But most batteries, just to stay safe, charge at a 1C charge rate. Say we just have a 2 cell LiPo, which is what most people have. Now from here, all you have to do is hold the start button, and it's going to check to make sure you have the battery properly connected, and it's going to ask you to confirm the charge one more time, and then you're going to be charging. If I do that, it's going to give us a connection break, because I obviously have no uh, battery connected. So we'll just do that for example. See, so it's obviously going to give us a tone saying, hey, you did something wrong. It's either not connected or you have something messed up. So that's how you charge a LiPo battery with these little smart chargers.